the configurations. So we decided to move and try to find more general solution. So let's pick up the open and static IP case. What happens here is once again we go ahead and finish the entire probe authentication as well as association phase. And because it is static IP, let us assume for the sake of simplicity that this IP is all files and at that stage the client sends out a gratuitous ARP request announcing this IP address to the rest of the network. So at this point all we have is this ARP request and probably whatever we can do is only with this. So we started digging deeper into what flaws web had and whether we could use it to our advantage and then finally we zeroed down upon one such flaw and that flaw is message modification. So the very first mention was in intercepting mobile communications as early as 2001-2002 and using this flaw it is possible to actually flip the bits in a web encrypted packet without having knowledge both of the key as well as of the plain text and then adjusting the ICB accordingly. So there is a proof in this paper, you can look it up, but putting it very simply, there are two mathematical foundations on which this proof is based. The first is the ZOR operation is associative. What that means is X ZOR Z, X ZOR Y ZOR Z is same as X ZOR Z ZOR Y. And the second mathematical foundation is that the CRC is linear and is distributive over the ZOR operation. What that means is CRC of X or Y is CRC X ZOR CRC Y. So using this message modification vulnerability which was uncovered in web, is it possible to convert that gratuitous ARP request packet into an ARP request destined for the same client without any knowledge of the web key at the very same time without having knowledge of what the plain text is. So how we go about doing this thing? So we magnified the ARP header here and in a gratuitous ARP request, the fields of interest to us is the sender MAC, the sender IP, the target MAC and the target IP. And let's say the sender MAC is all A's, the sender IP we've assumed is all fives. The target MAC is going to be all zeros because it's a gratuitous ARP request and the target IP is going to be all fives. So what we do is now we construct a bit mask of length as much as the packet we have and then go ahead and put a binary one in every bit we want to flip. So in this case even though we could have just flipped a single bit, I've actually flipped the entire byte and that is the sixth byte of the MAC address and the fourth byte of the IP address. And I've actually left the target IP as is. So this is what the bit mask is, all zeros, just two positions, sender MAC and target IP single bytes there which are going to be flipped. 